guys, welcome. Uh, my name is Ty Gower. I'm the defense coordinator at Norman North High School in Norman, Oklahoma, and I, I appreciate Coach Harper and Coach Walls having me on to uh, talk talk about a three by one coverage that's that's really been good to us. Um, and what what we classify and what we call as lock coverage. Um, depending on who you talk to and, and what your terminology, your verbiage is, you may hear it called special. Uh, if you're a TCU Gary Gary Patterson disciple, or you may hear it called uh, uh, stubby. If you're the Nick Saban Alabama verbiage, so uh, this is locked because well, I I stole it from someone else who called it locked, so I just I kept the verbiage. And and what lock is is it allows us to bracket the three by one X receiver on the backside. Um, we're a three four Okie base um, front defense and. Uh, where, where I came from, I was, I was in a 4-2-5, 4-3 look. Uh, I was a graduate assistant at Henderson State, and then I got on at Broken Arrow with uh, Adam Gaylor and Steve, Steve Dunn. And we were a, a four-man structure, and, and I really – and Coach Secondary, and I really, really liked how we did uh, the various three-by-one checks that we had. And, and when I moved to Norman North, I wanted to keep that with, within a 3-4 structure. And so the beauty of this one coverage that we're going to talk about today um, – the beauty of this one coverage is you can do it out of a 3-4 or even a four-man front, and I'll show you how we kind of do both. Um, what I'm showing you is, is the alignment screen and the pro and con of this one coverage. Again, what, we, what I classify as lock coverage. Um, the pro is it allows seven in the box. I will coach, how, how do you get seven in the box? And obviously with the three down linemen, the, the two Mike and Will, the Jack and the C-gap, and the free safety. You know, you see a lot of guys that are playing a type of quarters on the Z and the Y and a solo, you know, load or poach on the H with the free safety. Well, that puts the free safety on the hook to take three vertical or the, or the H receiver. This allows us to take the free safety off the hook and use the extra guy in the run fit. So, again, you're using three down linemen, three backers, and the free safety in the fit, which is, which is classified as the extra fitter on the run game. Um, and, again, with our three, four principles, you don't know whether we're going to play one gap or two gap run fits. This also allows to play four over three with the corner, nickel, strong safety, and Mike over the Z, Y, and H. So we're playing four over three type of, of concept over those three receivers. And, again, on the back side, it gives the ability to bracket the X. Now, we can do it with one, two, or three guys. Or sometimes we'll create a four-man rush and we'll bring the jack off the edge and just tag a jack call, uh, which still allows us to put two over one on the X, especially with, you know, with Coach Harper and Coach Walls. They being at Broken Arrow and, and Jinx and um, playing against those guys, man, they're always going to have that X receiver that uh, is a target and it's a threat. And, and with that, again, when we were in a four-man front, it seemed every week where we were playing Jinx, Owasso, a Tulsa Union, Broken Arrow, whoever it was, it seems as if they had an ex that, that was uh, the guy. And, and we didn't want to allow that guy to beat us and, and have someone else beat us. Now, obviously, when you play guys like you and Broken Arrow, Jinx, and Wasso, they're going to have another guy playing the Z, Y, or H, and you've got to come up with answers. But on the other hand, when you've got the backside X receiver, this allows uh, a good answer to take away quick game, vertical game, comeback, et cetera, and I'll show you how we do that. So the first one, uh, this, this is in 2016. I just became a defense coordinator at Norman North High School, and this is locked. So, so Norman High had given us trip split, trips open look. And what we're doing here is we're playing palms or two read, read two coverage with the mic, the strong, and the nickel on two and three. We're man on one. On the back side, they had a guy uh, that was a threat. Now, you know it's D&D. It's second 13. I think we had a tackle for loss or sack or something previous. And I didn't want to give up the, the seven-yard, eight-yard, nine-yard comeback and get them back into the third and five, third and medium to, to fourth down field goal range. So I really want to take this guy away, especially with college hashes. We're playing at Oklahoma University right here, especially with college hashes. Uh, those hashes are a little bit tighter, obviously, in high school. So I wanted to give the, the illusion of, hey, I'm playing three on one on the X back side. Obviously, the look looks bad. They throw a quick screen to the field. And even so, if the guy does catch it, talking about the Z receiver, even if the guy does catch it, we're still in great shape because the mic's going to be inside hip. The strong safety's going to be leveraged the hip. The corner's outside boundary. And here's my field player in the nickel. So you still got one to block the corner, 
and one to block the nickel, and I've got two free runners for the quick screen. Just give you the white shot on this. Okay, now I talked about our four man, the being in a four man uh, front, and oh, at Norman North we're a three four structure, like I said. But I wanted to keep what I knew in my grassroots from a four man structure, and we were able to do this. Now, um, obviously, sometimes it, this coverage gets a little hairy when you put tray, you know, tight end trips. It, it gets a little bit hairy and 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 gap scheme and all that other. But uh, this is this is spring ball, and I just wanted to work the structure. Obviously, in seven on seven, it's fun when you drop seven and drop eight, and don't have to worry about inside run game. Uh, so. With this, you'll notice that the Jack is, is – he's going to become the five technique. And we're creating four-man rush with this, okay? Watch the free safety in the corner double or bracket the X receiver backside. Okay, again, I did we're, – we're playing the, the game, playing first 10 situation. I didn't want to give up the easy comeback, the easy four, five, six-yard rollover. And so I'm bracketing the X on the backside, and there's a way we can do it. Either we invert the free safe down and play like inverted halves, or we'll, we will clamp down with the corner and play like cover two uh, into the boundary. Okay, now the strong safety notices that three is sat down, so he's going to go to the next number two. That's, that's a kid that's at Iowa State right now. Um, when you've got a six, seven guys, kind of throw it up to him, but neither here nor there. Um, let me go. Let me go to this. Okay, again, four man rush. Okay, we're, so we're in a fourth. We're in a, a, a four two look. All right. Again, uh, like I said, this coverage is is not. We can do it. It's not something that's great against Trey. Uh, again, just working it kind of in Pascal and stuff like that. But you'll notice, you'll notice that that our Jack or our our, our outside backers can come down and play a five technique. So we're playing either. Double twos and a six. We're playing five shade, three nine. Uh, some type of even front look. Okay, again, watch the watch the cut by the free safety. And this one right here, uh, this one's also a good X receiver. So we want to double him and not give up the easy one into the boundary. It's a great job by the mic. What the mics what the mics understand is he's got to push with the back. Well, they sat the back in protection, gave a six man protection. So the back, the mic is going to push and find the first cut. Well, he matches three out because that becomes like like the back out. If three was vertical to him, he would now match the first cut by either two or one. So it's an outstanding job by the mic linebacker right here. Okay, now I'll show you this one. So here's again out of our three, four front. All right. Here's a tag we can give called walk. So I would say lock, walk. I mean, locks are three by one coverage, again, with the nickel, strong, and Mike playing two read or palms on three and two. And we didn't want to give up the it's third and five. We didn't want to give up the, the quick hitch and, and allow the drive to continue and get a first down. So what we did is I tagged a walk call. And we're still gapped up. We're still gapped sound. Now, on this, we're fitting six. So I've told the Jack, hey, man, you're going to take one. The corner, you're going to play like the, the safety on top, and we're going to invert the free safety down to be the hook curl player. So notice that the jack is going to man one up top. And that's a great way to eliminate the quick game into the boundary. Now, not everything is, is perfect here. I'd like to see the mic expand uh, to three, especially with third and five and the backs away from him, he's going to get flow to him. So the flow is going to come to him. So I'd really like for this guy, for the mic, to be about two yards wider right there. Okay, that again gives the – because they're checking the sideline and the OC is going, hey, throw it to three uncovered. And it does look uncovered. Again, I would like for the mic, considering where the back is, it's minus, like for the, for the back or the mic, to expand about two yards wider to give that illusion of I'm not giving up three hitch. Okay, here's another one. So this is a state final game in 2016. We're playing Tulsa Union, and they, they Tulsa Union will always have a guy or two or three. Um, and, and so they had a guy right here that middle of the field I definitely didn't want to give up. 
you know, the 10 yard comeback or the, or the four yard slant or whatever. But I also want to create a four man rush. We kind of got a beat on how they are pass prone a little bit. And so what we're doing is I'm, I'm going to give a jack lock call. And what that tells us is if it's three by one, the jack is going to four man outside rush. Now, how we teach it by day one standards, if the back shoots, okay, he's going to peel with it. Now, we also have a call and tag where uh, he'll create four man rush and the wheel will push with it. But for now, how, we're, how we teach it week one is the, the nickel, or the, excuse me, the jack will peel with the back out. Now, they keep the back in protection, go six man rush or six man protection and get our four man rush. Now, notice the top. We're bracketing, we're inverting, we're inverting on the backside play like invert halves. Now, I'd really, really like the free safety to cut quicker. It's not, a, it's not perfect, but it gets the job done. We create four-man rush to get sacked. And against those guys, against those old linemen, they do a great job. Uh, you know, count your blessings whenever you, whenever you can do this and get a TFL behind the sticks. Okay, again, so if we look down here to trips, all right, now we're playing two read, two read with the nickel for strong and Mike, okay? Obviously two is vertical, three is vertical. So again, it becomes just like quarters, it's man. Okay, again, this is, this is um, the quarterfinals and, and, and this opponent had, they had a really good guy playing the extra receiver. Um, and notice, you know, we'd got, we'd gotten behind the chains. It was first and goal and we had TFL or sack or something. So we're second and 14. So I wanted to create four man rush, especially in high school hashes. Uh, it allows my cut guy, my cut down free safety to really invert and cut off the X receiver on the backside. Okay. Again, notice up top how we're playing on top, playing post vert by the corner, but we're inverting the free safety on the backside. Now, it's not a perfect job, but again, we're creating a four-man rush. It looked dirty front side, so it looks corner, nickel, strong, Mike. It looked four over three. It looked dirty, strong side, so he's thinking, well, what's the backside look like while well, I'm trying to create four-man rush on the backside? Okay, now, so it's – the very next snap, sometimes defense coordinators, we, we get caught in our ways, and if one thing works on one down, we'll come back to it. Well, this is the very, very next snap. It's third and 20, and I had a really good feeling that it was going to go to this cat on the edge. So, again, I said, hey, do we want to just say we're going to drop eight and create three-man rush, or do we want to do it again because, well, it worked the first time? So we created a four-man rush and get the sack. Now, here's the deal. I gave a call. I gave a call and said, well, coach, one time the free safety, he really cut down on one. True. This time I gave a call that told both guys to play back. I'm about the corner and the free safety. So, hey, if you do give up, because it was this time where they had to have a touchdown to, to even tie us, so field goal wasn't going to hurt us. So I was thinking four down territory. So, hey, if you, if you catch the eight-yard hitch, whatever, we'll be okay. We're still sitting fourth and 10, fourth and 12. So I gave a call that told our, our free safety and our corner to play off and tackle anything in front of it. Okay, now, so here's, here's another, another tag with lock. So, all right, now we wanted to really clamp down on number one. So you notice the corner's giving a Tampa clamp down look on one. Now we're playing – half true half with the free safety here's my hook curl player and the jack okay so again by illusion pre-snap quarterbacks going man that doesn't look good i'm going to throw a quick game to the field and again here we go so you throw a bubble you're going to block one on the corner, you're going to tell number two to block the nickel. Well, I've still got my mic and my strong safety to be free runners.
That guy'd be fired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, uh, it's first and goal or, you know, second eight, you know, goal to go. Again, I didn't want to allow this guy an easy free release. Cause, so I, I said, hey, we're going to tag this with Locke. Again, I want to look dirty to the field. We're four over three. I like, again, the mic to kind of expand. He's too tight to the box. So, again, we're clamped with the, with the corner. We're over the top with the free safety. My jacks, my hook, curl player. Coach, you, it, to me, it looks like it's a really good you know, red zone coverage. You know, it, you're able to, to get a lot of eyes, obviously, in the backfield. And then I think there's, you put a lot of bodies in the, in the end zone, takes away the fade. I mean, is that one of the things you, you've kind of game planned for? It looks like it'd be really good red area, you know, plus 10, plus 15. It's a great red area deal if, if, if the, they keep the 10 personnel on the field. You know, and that's kind of the, the situation you run into, you know, against you guys. You guys getting getting double, you know, double tied or two back set. I mean, obviously, it's locks, locks not for that. But when you get 10 personnel stuff and you want to take away the third and seven quick game stuff to the boundary, it's awesome for it. And you're still gapped up because you're fitting three down linemen, Mike, Will, Jack, and then the four, the, the fourth extra guy in the free safety. So you're, you're fitting seven. And, and oh, a bunch of offensive guys say, "There's you're not either." How you know? I say, "Well, he doesn't have three vertical." You know, he's he's in the way we teach. We we see ball to one. So if he gets mesh, I mean, he's gonna slant what we call slam step or flat foot footwork and become the extra extra run fit guy. So we're fit in seven. And so yeah, coach, it's it's great in the red zone. So so here we go again. So here's a great look. It's uh, something or ten, maybe first or second and ten, and so. Again, didn't want to give up to the boundary. So here's where our two read comes in. You'll notice that the nickel takes the bubble. They're trying to go double pass. The strong safety sees that three is bubbled. So he's going to take the vertical or the next cut by two. This is a great job up to the field. Not a great job missing the tackle. <laughs> but we're sitting in good shape. If you're if you're doing teach tape stuff and cone pursuit and all that stuff, we are in beautiful shape. Outside hip, fill, leverage. Okay, so we're we're still sitting nice. Uh, I guess I got to duke it in there. Okay. All right. Here we go. Now I talked about this a little bit. Norman Hyde kind of done some things where they were, they were moving around. Was he a true number three? Was he like, you know, everybody's doing the H or Y off thing. And so in a perfect world, I would have liked to have slid the front. I would have got, I would like to go on a four man rush. Like we talked about a four man front where that Jack comes down to play a five, but we're still good. I did not want to give up the, the X receiver to the backside. But we're still okay structure-wise. Okay, now. Here's what else we found. Out of, out of our stand-up package uh, that, I'll be honest, I've stolen from a few people, we can still do this out of our stand-up package. Again, this is Tulsa Union, and they will always have that, that some X receiver to the boundary that, that's, a, that's a go-getter. Go and so we're still playing two over one. So what we've done, at this is a, obviously a stand-up package so on third down, is we're still playing the, the two-read concept with – the nickel strong, and one of these guys is going to push the three. You don't know which one of these three is going to push to be the three dropper, okay? So we're still playing. Uh, here we're playing like a Tampa look to the X receiver to the boundary.
Now, I will say, hey, to the field, to the field, and you guys know as well as I do, we've got a lot of quarterbacks that, that can make this throw. Um, and so what's the weakness? You are one-on-one -on -one to the field. I mean, it's corner versus the Z receiver. It's one-on-one. -on -one. So if you run post, hey, it's one-on-one. <laughs> -on -one. Uh, there's kind of your weakness. However, sometimes you got to play, play the odds, especially in defense, because we don't have a lot of saving graces anymore in football. But uh, – with, with the ball being on the hash, I accepted that, hey, that's a long throw, especially on a third and nine, uh, ball on the hash, and he's trying to throw it across the hash. Uh, I, I took my chances. And, obviously, it worked out that time. I remember watching this film, Coach. You guys, you guys really got after him with your stand-up package uh, this game. It, it seemed to be really effective against, against Union this game. I don't know if you guys uh, had saved it or, or you'd been working, you know, shown it on film before, but I remember watching this game and you guys kind of jumped into this in the, I don't remember, second or third quarter, and it, it gave them quite a bit of problems. This is something, like I said, I, I've stolen from oh, a certain guy that you've had on your podcast before. Um, and it's one of those deals, uh, it's great on third down. It's, to, to the offense, at least I think so. To the offense and offense line, it looks exotic and chaotic, but to us, it's, it's extremely simple. You know, like, like I said, you don't know if it's a three-man rush, a four-man rush, who's the three-dropper, what coverage are we playing. Um, and so it's been – with anything, you know, it's always good or, or it can be bad. Um, but but we've, we've kind of hung our hat on this on third down. And we'll, we'll do it occasionally, depending on how the ball games don't. We'll do it occasionally on first down. And, again, it sometimes goes bad. It sometimes goes good. But uh, – uh, this this was good for us this night. Obviously, you know, we, we didn't pull out the victory, but it, it did give them a little bit of problem. Um, and so we kind of hung our hat on it for oh, probably, probably longer than we should that night. But, uh, yes, it's, it's been good for us.